For Pete's take now, Pete Sweeney of Arrowhead Pride. We're talking Chiefs here. Pete, the NFL weighing in on the Chiefs this week. Willie Gay Jr. suspended four games for misdemeanor property damage. Seem a little hefty of a suspension there? You know, we don't know the exact details on this, but right now, the thing that bothers me about this is there's just no precedent in the NFL. When things happen like this, there's no rhyme or reason no. as to why exactly it does. And so we don't know the exact details of the investigation again, but it does seem like compared to other suspensions that are going around the league, four does seem like a lot. I, I imagine the team was thinking maybe it was going to be in more of the one game or two game range. Supposedly he's not going to appeal the suspension. Right. Does that that surprise you? I guess a little bit, but that makes me think that the NFL and the Chiefs went back and forth on this a little bit, and that is the eventual resolution. And now what the Chiefs have to do, Mick, is figure out exactly how to replace mm -hmm. Willie Gay. And they have a number of options, but this is one of the more athletic players on the team, so we'll see how the Chiefs manage to do that starting with the Colts. Who is it? Is it Leo Chanel time? I think Leo Chanel gets a chance, but he has sometimes been a liability in coverage. So could be Darius Harris. I know that Jack Cochran had a really nice training camp. He is now on the 53-man roster, an undrafted rookie. He's there. Elijah Lee is there. I think it could be a team effort. You could even see safety Brian Cook in the mix of trying to defend and add to the athleticism that the Chiefs are going to be certainly missing without Willie Gay. Uh, is it obvious here they're missing the most in the in the Buffalo game? If only that, that game could have been a week seven, a week six. Well, right? that's what. Yeah, well, that, that's what's a little bit strange about. This suspension as well. I think you really wanted him for this Buffalo Bills team who is rolling over the rest of the NFL so far. Josh Allen is no joke and so why did this suspension come in week three and not week one so maybe he could have been back by week six. It is what it is now. The Chiefs are going to have to step up the next four games. That fourth game maybe being the most important with the Buffalo Bills. All right, Derwin James fined by the NFL for his body slam of Travis Kelsey on Thursday Night Football. Was that warranted the fine or is that just football? I love me some Kansas City. Support the Chiefs. I run Arrowhead Pride. I feel like this is a little bit overblown. Yeah, right? Travis Kelsey was trying to find his way into the end zone. He jumped. He leaped. I don't know what Derwin James is supposed to do in that situation. Derwin James is not a dirty player historically, so I think a little bit overblown. I don't know if he necessarily deserved the suspension. How much of it had to do with it? It was on prime time on Thursday Night Football. The entire NFL world was watching. Well, you got to protect your stars. Yeah. Uh, there is word out there that they've never had more Amazon Prime subscriptions and one shot. And so you protect the guys that are going to be on Amazon Prime on Thursday Night Football. Travis Kelsey certainly one of the stars of the league. All right. We'll see. Pete, thanks for the time. We appreciate it.